also. Go on, go on, Betty. <laughs> Be very strong. This tears should come out from her, for Krishna. Oops, sorry. Hmm? I told you there was another four hundred dollars my brother sent me. I forgot to bring to you when it came. This is for my expenses. So you could be for he had given for your son. Guru Dave, whenever I talked to my brother, I always wanted to tell him something about Bhakti, but before he got so angry, he said, I never know what to say to him. I don't. Wonder. I trick him. <laughs> and then you will write the bhajan, and then automatically there will be some relation and some uh, devotion will go. This time he gave me $40 of his own money. He never. $40? <laughs> he gave me never before. Oh, very good. Be happy. I'm satisfied. You are just six o'clock. Okay. Now I wanted to go there from. Uh, I'm making so happy, happy, happy. <laughs> but you're speaking what? so much. I mean, if you're going to be tired, or don't do like that. Oh, okay. No. No, no. no. Not you. To her, her, her. Okay. Yes. Uh, you can wear yes, ornaments, no harm. No harm. But not like this. Not like this? Not like hippies. Not like hippies. No. Okay. Like what did you do? Not in Kirtan.
We have completed Dehuti Kapil Sambhat, Nal Dupakhan, Puranjan Dupakhan, Bhat Maharaju, Ajami, Pritashu, all there. I wanted to tell about something about Prahlad Maharaj. Uh, but I also want to tell, uh, speak on tenth kind of Srimad Bhagavatam. But it is basic, like a platform. So, what, are the, what is the essence of Prahlad Maharaj? And what is the essence of the... Uh, uh, of teachings of uh, Ambarish Maharaj? Very quickly we will do, and then we will proceed towards Srimad Bhagavatam. Prahlad Maharaj in that. Yudhisri Maharaj asked some question to Narada Rishi that 
supreme personality of God is Krishna. He has no enemy, he has no friend. He is equal to all. But we see sometimes that he takes uh, part of devotees and he fights and kills all the demons. Why he does it? Why? Then he told that a mother never becomes any party of his four sons. He loves equal, but according to their health or their activities, sometimes she chastises one, not giving so delicious <coughs> food to them, sometimes uh, uh, loving so much. So in, but he has the same love and affection for his child. So, Krishna is like that. Like son, if anyone come in front of son, not covered, then he will test his raises. And there will be light. But anyone sitting in the room, no, nothing to see sun, then there will be darkness. So this is not a... Okay. Ex party, partiality. There is no partiality. If he will come out of room, he, will, he can see his son and his hotness and everything. Anyone coming to Krishna with six ways, Calm means lust. Bhaya, fear. Also, dvesh, envy, sneha, and Deshat, Bhayat, Snehat, Aikyam, thinking that I am himself, and Bhaktya. There are six things. Asmat Bairan Bandhena, Nir Bairena, Bhayenava, Snehat Kamin, Vajan Jat Kachan Nirchate Kutta. Kamat Vesat Bayat Snehat Jatha Bhaktaris Varemana, Avis Tadang Hitva Bavas Tadati. Gopya Kama, Kans Ad Bayo, Kanso Chaitjad, O Nibasam Bandhat Vishnu, Snehan Yujan Bhaktavi. Anyone, which comes to Krishna and he is observed in Krishna. Kamat. Kamat means lust. Desha. In his Bhaya. Fear. Sneha. Eh? Affection. And Bhaktya. Bhakti. Avishya. Avishya means being totally observed. Hmm? Bhavas tadam gatim gatam. So many persons, devotees and non-devotees, they have got liberation and so many gatis. Hmm? He telling gopya kama by lust gopis. I think there is no proper word, lust. Only calm is okay. Like gopis, mood of gopis. 
Bhayat Kansu, always comes fearing from Krishna, from birth of Krishna. Before that, when he heard the sky, then I see it up. Oh, thinking always Krishna, 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 he will kill me, he will kill me. Today he will kill me. I should kill him, I should kill him. Where he is? Where is Krishna? Where is Krishna? Totally observe. So concern. Vesat Chaidyadur. Chaidya, Chaidmani Sisupal. And others, like his brother, Dantabakra, and so many. So they were fighting with Krishna. They wanted to kill Krishna, hmm? but always observe in Krishna. Sammandhat Vishnya, Vishnya means Vasudeva, Devaki and all others. Akrur, hmm, Uddha and all. By Sammandhat, by relation, that Krishna is my father, Krishna is my husband, Krishna is my son, Krishna is my friend, Krishna is my son, daughter, in, uh, son-in-law. Like this, all sambandha. And sneha jujam, sneha jujam, sneha, affection for Pandavas, you, Nadi tell me. He has a very good relation with you. He has become your brother-in-law, Arjun. He has, Krishna has given his sister. He is the son of uh, Arjunis and Pandvaja, son of Kunti. And where comes is son of Vasudev, Krishna. And Vasudev and Kunti were brother and sister. So these are Sambandha. And Vayam, Vayam means Narada Vayam, not only one. So many Bhaktas. By Bhakti we have. But by Bhaya Dvesh. Uh, is very powerful, very quickly comes up. And Sisupal and others, they get their mind towards Krishna very easily, that Krishna will ki kill me. So by this liberation, very quickly, very quickly. But to serve Krishna like gopis, Vishnaya and Bhakta like Nara, or oh, it is not so easy. But uh, we should not do all these things uh, like Vesh, Bhaya, and all other things. They are not working. So Krishna used to kill demons and to give this, distribute all these things. So anyhow, if anyone having salvation and all liberation and all these things, by uh, thinking any way, even by fear, they got so much high thing that yogi could not have these things. So if anyone having so much love like gopis to Krishna, thinking that he is worldly person, I am worldly, no harm. He will have more and more things from Krishna. So Krishna, it, from outwardly it is seen that Krishna is cutting the head of Sisupal, killing his father-in-law, Mama, Kansar, and killing so many. But he is not killing. He is taking only garments that was wrong and very dirty and rotten. And gives them very beautiful body and, and engages in his service. But we are outwardly we cannot kill. But inwardly that is why. So Krishna is never partial to anyone. He is equal to all. But devotees are nearer serving him, so he is remained. If anyone may be removed to Krishna, Opposes that Krishna will kill, and then by a transcendental body he will engage in him. Anyhow, then second thing is that 
जो कुछ चाहेगा जो कुछ चाहेगा वही मिल जाएगा it seemed that shishupal has taken sai jimukti in krishna him intense but not like that. what we think the modes of uh, sai and all other things it is it will not come in about this mind so then Hrnakasubu, his brother was killed by Bharati, and his body was brought to Ailesh, and all there he be. He used to know all the principles of Vedas. He knew. He also knew that. Atma is Amar, immortal. immortal. Yeah. But he was not uh, following all these things. But he knew hmm? there must be one supreme personality of God. He knew, and he knew that Vishnu is that person, and he used to quarrel. So he wanted to kill Vishnu. Hmm? So when his brother was dead. And killed by Bharati, then all the everything. His mother, wives, children, so many children, very big, big demons were there. All the everything for for their father. Then he told a past history that there was a king whose name was Sujatra, and he was the emperor. And he has some he a rival, and he wanted to smash him. But in the battle, he was defeated and and killed. His hands was separated from the body. His feet also separated. But anyhow, the whole body was taken to Paris, and all that they did. They covered the, that body with a white cloth, and thus all that they did. There was none to pacify <coughs> them. In the meantime, a boy came of age of little five years. He was about quite naked. He told that why you are weeping? Oh, you are why you should go and play. But he told, I want to know why all you are all weeping. They told that the father of this person or this person has he has he is killed and. He has been killed. That is why we are weeping. In India, we can tell that वह मर गया, माने he has left. Anywhere he has gone. He told that I am saying that he has never gone anywhere. He is still sleeping here. Why you are not talking? You thought that. Mm, he is my father. He is my husband. He is my son. So why you are not talking? They told that no. Now he is not in this body. He has left. Oh, I used to think that this body was your father, your husband, your son, and everything. But you are not waiting for this body. Um, you are waiting for anything else. They told me yes. His soul has gone away. Have you ever seen? Never we have not seen. Then why weep? Lakhs and lakhs person daily they used to die, but why you are weeping for this person? How he was old? 
How in length he was, long or tall. How he was fat or very lean and thinner. Can you tell? No, I, we have never seen him. But then, when you have not seen him and you are all weeping, why weeping? <coughs> you must know that the body is not so. He will not return. He will never return. If what we speak of you, you are hundred and thousand. But if whole world come assembled and all will be, will he come? He will never come. Jadagatva? From there anyone never comes where he has come. Don't be. After that he told that. I am telling him one story that there were two birds, <coughs> wife and husband. One day they went to forest for to pick up something for their children. And they were sitting on the branch of a very beautiful tree. And from there they saw some rice grain there, very beautiful, like pearls. The wife told, <coughs> I want to go and to pick up. Husband told, don't go. There is some conspiracy. There is some hunter. And he will anyhow strictly catch you. So don't go. She told, oh you male persons always see like this. I will go. And telling so, <coughs> she quickly went there and began to pick up. And by his life, oh, come on, come on, you should go. And the in time, the hunter was there. He was very black and tall and very ferocious body. He pulled the chain of the... And she at once came in his track. And then he began to weep bitterly. Also his husband came and began to be, I cannot support my children. I wanted to be in this trap and you come up, come out of this, but it cannot be. And he was also bitterly weeping. And in the meantime, the hunter took his bow and arrow, uh, arrow and bow and hunted and it began. In the heart and at one sea fell flat on the earth. Blood was coming. And then he became happy and doing like that and laughing and he came and he picked up both. And then he tightened and he took here and he went to home and in the fire he, he did anything trusted. And then Easily with two hands. Very beautiful, very tasteful. So all are with the same. One day you are thinking that I will not die. I am so happy by drugs, wines and three doubles. Oh. I am so happy. I will be up to that time like this, hmm? eating, drinking and making merry. Hmm? But one day you will have to be too old and you will have to test your all bad activities. Everything. Hmm? So, you are telling that we should be ready. If my wife, my husband or anything has been dead, then we should be ready. Not so much weeping. Always telling Hare Krishna, Hare Krishna, Krishna Krishna, Hare Hare. But is not so. We are not related to this body. We are related to somehow in show that all are um, eh, part and parcel of God and all are eternal servant of Krishna. So we have something. 
don't miss this thing. Always think like this. If any devotee has been weak, and anyhow he is weak to give up his um, no no guru day. Anyhow, he should again come. We are requesting very eagerly or that they should again return and serve that Guru Dev and thus be happy forever. So this is one, one teaching of Pranam Second, his father told, what you have learned in his school? He told that this world is like a whale. And anyone was going to forest for part to have some honey to test and killing uh, so many animals like deers, very innocent deers, or anything. For ghost means rabbits and all. But in the way, his eye, tiger, running after him, roaring so well, there are so big trees, so fat, fat, he could not climb. And he wanted to escape anyhow, but there was no way. Now he was thinking that, oh, I have done so many wrong things, that is why this tiger is coming. And then he feared so much, and he saw that there was a dry well. And there were so many grasses and little trees. And thus it was covered with the leaves and branches of these trees. So hmm? the root was up upside and their branches like this. The root of this world is there and everything is lower down. And he quickly catch hold of two branches. And he began to and he looked uh, and he saw that, oh, there are so many poisonous black serpents or snakes. And they are hissing, hissing, like that. Oh, first, first, first. And he began more clear. If I am going up, Tiger is there. If I am going down, down then and at once I will die. So he was, but how much time he will catch hold? Hmm? This will be, and in the meantime, two rats <coughs> came out from the well, any hole, one black, black and other, <coughs> and began to cut. Quickly, quickly, in a moment they will and there is none there to save what to do? What to do? What to do? In the meantime he saw, oh, I was going in the forest to take Madhu and Madhu is here. Madhu means honey. Honey is there. And some honey from the Sattam. I by draw. One, two, like golden and very sweet. And he saw he could not take his son and he did like this, keeping the branches in hands. Rats are cutting, uh, the snakes are in, and the tiger is <laughs> everywhere, up, down, side, side, this side. Everywhere death is, death is only ready. And in the meantime he took this. Oh, how beautiful, how best, how sweet. What is this? To love, the love of children, wife, husband, each other. All these are like Madhu. Drop, drop. 
and all these are fierce out there. But it is very fear that if the branches are like done like this, then all bees will come and and I will see also that. So mother will be honey will be also the reason of his life. So keeping this, living all these things, <coughs> if anyone, anyhow, maintaining his life, anyhow, and always chanting, remembering Krishna, in the association of bona fide Guru and Vaishnava, then he will be happy. Tiger will go, a very, uh, what is this rash? Day and night. What are they are doing? They are cutting the tree. What is tree? Or past bad and good actions. Our age. They are cutting. What is your age? My age is 84. Oh, oh you have passed your 84. Now how many years are they are remaining? Only two or three or one day, we don't. So don't be so happy and that oh, proud of your age that I have become of hundred years. Hundred has years having passed uselessly. Uselessly. You'll have to suffer for your each action in your dream, knowingly, not knowingly, what you have done. You'll have to take Meat means M E A T. M E me E A T. It, me eat. To whom I am now eating? They must eat. Being tiger, snakes, or anything place that is, they will maybe cows, they may be deers, hawks, pigs, hens, and they will. Give up, try to give up all these things. Krishna has made so many things to eat. Why eating all these things? Hmm? You can drink milk. Why alcohol and all other things? Yes, it's not going to work. Try to remember. So if anyone doing like so, at once, uh, rain may come. And some pieces of hell, hell will come and tiger will go away. The rats, rats will go away easily. And then he can come out of the well and he can easily be saved. So we should try to <coughs> He is telling to his father, hearing, hearing this, his father becomes so angry. And he threw out his on his lap and began to escape him. But he could not do anything. Their master Sandamar advised him to return this boy to Gurukul and we will teach him. In the meantime, our father, Sukrachat, will come. He is very powerful. And thus this boy, this boy can be saved. He will not be devoted. He told Hiranyakasipu, any devotee should not come in or that area where my boy is there. They have done this thing. Then again he came to school and he read for some time and again his father asked, what you have read and what you have selected good and what your Gurudev has told. Then he told. What? Shavadam, Kritanam, Vishnu, Smaranam, Padashivan, Archanam, Bandanam, Dashan, Sakham, Atmanivedanam. Iti Prunsarpita, Vishnu, Che, Navalakkana, Bhagavati, Kriyeta, Manitan, Manyadhi, Dhamakma. Sometimes, being a devotee, coming out of the association, we think that Bodhism is so very easy. 
destroy it. Then we see that there are all. Oh, I'm, I'm Brahmashmi, I am same. Why should I serve Krishna? I am himself Krishna or Supreme Person or the other. These bad things come in now. Sometimes we see that, oh, we should be Sahajiya Babaji. Or Guru Devi is so, Swamiji was so strict. And he told that strict word is that don't meet with Radha Kunda Babaji. Or Vindavan or Innavati. They think how to you know, test worldly desires. And they, being a male form, they hide their appearance and becomes like ladies and mixing with other ladies and doing all this nonsense. So sometimes we are uh, misguided. misguided and go and to be become a Babaji or like that. But we have seen that so many has done and they have gone to all to hell. So we should not be misguided. We should try to follow our Guru Dev. Our Guru Parampara is so bona fide. Swamiji has, is not first Guru. And he has not fought, uh, established Krishna consciousness first. He is not first Guru. Our first Guru is Krishna. From there Brahma, Narad, Vyas, Sukadeva Goswami, Madhvachar, and Chaitanya Mahaprabhu himself, Sarup Damoda, Raya Ramananda, and thus coming Rup Sanatan, Krishna Das Kadirat Goswami, Narottam Thakur, and thus coming Vishwanath Chakvarti Thakur, Baladevit Dhyabhusan Bhakti Vinod Thakur, Jagannath Das Babaj Maharaj Bhakti Vinod Thakur, and then Srila Prabhupada Bhakti Siddhan Saswati, and then here. So don't think him. Don't cut his relation to our Guru Parampara. He has no, nothing given new. Oh, bottle is known, surely. But the, <laughs> the teachings are same. Same thing. And they never become old. Never. New, 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 new. Always new. So, we should have a belief in this. First there was Vaishnava Raja Sabha in the time of before that, Madhvendra Puri Bhav, Puri. Before that, Subhadeva Goswami Hirnsa. Before that, Das Dev. Before that, Narad. Before that, Brahma. So this is coming from there. So we should not cut, try to cut the links of all these things. So this mercy is coming from where? This Bhagavatam is coming from where? From there, from Krishna origin and Radha and Krishna, or same taken Mahaprabhu. So we have firm belief, very strong belief in our parampara and our in these teachings, that in this world, if anyone wants to be happy forever, <laughs> they should follow this. Very easy. If you are not doing anything, not chanting, oh, you saw any vigraha, see Radha, Krishna, Mahaprabhu, and leave it. Of Vali Pranam. Vali saying that I am yours, Krishna. Vali hearing Katha. Hmm? There is nothing, hmm, no matter if you have no money. Nothing. So, you can do this very easily. If you are Muslim, then you are bound to, to sit and stand and to. And then you will. What? I mean, you will take your breath away. You will be so tired. By this exercise, one will not get sick. So, and we can do only. If you will not do, oh, no heart. Oh, Krishna, you will be so tired. Only this will do. Have a relation with Krishna. And then automatically we will begin to chant more and more and more. Like Haridas Thakura. So don't fear. So Pranab Maharaj is saying, hearing this, his father becomes so angry and he ordered all army, uh, Senapati, 
commander, and just now you should kill this boy. We are so high family, and in our high family, this wicked boy has come. He is not drinking. He is not taking cigarettes. Why this is very a strange thing? We try that he should take wine, but he never takes. We have uh, bonded him to take place eggs, but he never taking. He does not know sham dam dand bhed. What? Sham dam. Politics, duplicity, telling lie, a king or a son of king be like that, telling all these lies. He should not speak true. And he should be duplicate. <laughs> and like all this. But this boy is so wicked, not doing anything. So why he came in my dynasty? So you should kill him. Try, try, try hard. Snakes were given to him. Poison was given to him. Mad Elfin wanted to crush, but when he smelled even coming nearer, and he began to what? Compensing. Com and he ran away. He was given to see very deep ocean, but Krishna said. He was thrown from mountains, but Krishna said. His sister was used. He has a benediction not to be burnt in fire. But she burnt and Prahlad was Then he became so upset. And he wanted to kill. But he could not. And then one day his teacher went to any job and he told Prahlad Maharaj that, oh, you should be monitor and try to control all the boys. Was that very happy that our Guru Dev is going outside. So they were in a mood to play. But Prahlad Maharaj told that, Oh, come on, I will tell something to you. You remember? You? Very strong. So the um, school friends of Prahlad, they were out playing and they called Prahlad they say, oh, Prahlad, come and play. But um, Prahlad, he was not interested in playing. And he said, actually, I have something to tell you. I want to speak from my heart. So very sweetly, he asked, if you can just give me a few minutes, I'd like to explain something. And they said, oh, Prahlad, what is this? What is it that you want to say? So then Prahlad, he explained, Kumaram Mataret Prahyo. Dhamam Bhagavataiha, Dulabam Mansam Janma, Karapi Adhuvamakadam. That now we're very young, we're all about five years old, but one who's actually intelligent, Kumaram Atarat Pragyo, that right from the very youth, that Dhamam Bhagavatamiha, that they will engage in Bhagavatam, in worshipping the Supreme Lord. Why? Because Dulabam Manusam Janma, that this human birth, it's very, very rare. Tadapi Adruva Matadam, that it is um, rare and it is very temporary. So then his friends, they said, oh Prahlad, this sounds good, but when we get older, then we can worship God. But right now, while we're young, we have our youth, let's go out and play. So then Prahlad, he explained to them, he said, you have this mentality now, but one who's intelligent, they'll understand that if you want to do something, if you plan to do something in the future, then better you do it today. And if you're thinking to do something today, then better you do it now. Especially when it comes to take it to Bhagavad Dhamma. So if one is feeling inspired somehow to take to um, Krishna consciousness, then rather than putting it off for tomorrow or later on, he's saying, not, no, do it now. So, they were saying, no, Prahlad, when we're older, we'll do. Then Prahlad, he explained to them, 
He said that in life, one may live for 100 years. But even if one lives for 100 years, then 12 hours of the day, one spends that sleeping. So that 50 years, that's lost immediately. You have another 50 years left. And then in the other 50, in, when one is from age 80 to 100, then in those 20 years, especially if one is engaged in sense gratification, we know when, um, for instance, if some of us, we may have gone selling paintings in old folks' homes, and these old people from 80 to 100, they don't even reach 100, from 60 to 80, then they're so, they're senile. From sense gratification, they've lost everything. So Pallad is saying from 80 to 100, then one is more or less senile, and one will not be able to, one will not have any capacity to take in any um, spiritual knowledge. So another 20 years is lost, leaving 30 years. And then, in the youth, um, one is going to school, one loses another 20 years or so going to school, and that leaves 10 years. And in very small childhood, from birth to 10 years of age, then one is practically doing nothing. So he's saying that you may plan that in the future I'll take to Bhagavad Dharma, but he's saying that this is just um, a trick of the material energy. That one who thinks like that is a fool, is a mudha. So he said, better one should immediately take to Bhagavad Dharma. So then the um, boys and girls, they were asking, um, they asked a lot, but um, we don't know um, how to take to Bhagavad Dharma. What to do? Um, how to chant? And then Pallad, he, he said, yes, I can teach you. And then he started kirtan. Uh, they asked also, all the boys, that if in our youth, we will not collect money, and the things for um, uh, to, to maintaining our life, then in old age, we'll have to suffer so much. So what should I we do? You, 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 you. Now they tell you. What he replied? Mm. He said that... What he would? Mm. <coughs> he said that... Mm. We see that in life, even though nobody wants distress, nobody wants disease, nobody wants calamity, no one endeavors for these things, yet they are coming automatically as a result of our past activities. So similarly, happiness in this world and facility for enjoyment, it will also come automatically as a result of our past activities. How they will come? And why they will come? to the reaction of our past yes. activities. <laughs> Good and bad activities. If you have done so many bad things, then the result of that will come in suffering. You know, one must die. One must be old. So many rocks and so many things, so many that someday you can be very to a begging here and there, and someday you can be a king. So if you have done good, then the good attack, the result of the good activities will surely will come and you will be bound to test them. If sufferings are going, coming without invitation, so all good things will come. So don't be afraid of maintaining your life. Pradhar, from where you learnt all these things? You are always with us in school and here, playing there, from birth we know you, from where you learnt all these things. Where is Premprajan? Oh, that should be there. Then, do you remember what he told? Oh, Naveen. don't remember for it. Go on, go on. Yes. Yes. You are not so old, like uh, sitting on the chair. <laughs> 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 this will be very old. 
Prabhupada Maharaj explained that uh, when he was born in the womb of his mother, that because he was the son of Hiranyakashipu, and Hiranyakashipu was very much uh, terrorizing the demigods, <laughs> so he explained that he was kidnapped uh, by the demigods, and then Narada Muni came and he explained it because they wanted to kill the, the child in the womb. But Narada Indra. Indra. Indra wanted to, because uh, he was the son of Hiranyakashipu, and they thought and he that he would grow to be a very great king. More human. dangerous than Hiranyakashipu. Yes. So in boyhood. So then Narada Muni came and he explained to them no, actually there is a very great devotee in this womb. So you should not kill him. And you cannot kill. You cannot kill. So he took him to his own ashram. He took the mother to his own ashram. And there, for many thousands of years, 60,000 years, he kept the mother there. And he was narrating uh, Srimad Bhagavatam. All the Ved, Upanishad, Shastra, all these scriptures, Vedanta, Upanishad, also Srimad Bhagavatam, Mahabharata, Ramayana, everything. And he became expert, being in the womb. But his mother, <laughs> so you should be, uh, you follow me, and now we'll give up all the bad activities. You should not think that we are the sons of demons. You should try to give up wine, lust, killing animals and all these things that. And we should try to do Kirtan um, assembling here. Now they began to do Kirtan. Namami Nanda Nanda Namami Nanda Nanda Namami Nanda Nanda Namami Nanda Nanda Namami Nanda
dear boys and friends, we should always do kirtan. And very, very powerful kirtan is this. Hare Krishna, Hare Krishna,
any related father mother. And those were Madhyam Adhikari, their father mother for 40. And those were Uttam, their father mother. 21 days, generation will be quickly removed. So, Prahlad, then Prahlad Maharaj told that I want to take all the offenses, all the <laughs> sufferings that they have done. Hmm? All the living entities, I will take all their things and they should be liberated and I will be in this world always suffering, suffering. Then he told that you will have not to suffer. Those will chant, remember Krishna and hearing the first time so Please, that will be so you should have a strong fighting Now you should come in and Nibhirtatarsai rupagiyamana Baursadatsrotri mano bhirama Kahavuttam shloka gunanu badat Virajyet bina pasogna Parikshit Maharaj, hearing about seven, seven days, um, five days, he has ordered. He has never wanted, he was never wanted uh, a glass of water, no sleep, nothing, always hearing and hearing. All they are like this. Always hearing. Shukde Goswami told to do it once to take water. I don't require. Shukde Goswami. If you want water, anything, food, fruits, anything, milk, no. I don't. And drink it your nectar of Haritata. I don't have time. I don't want minute, waste a minute time. Especially Nivrta Tarasai Upagiyamana, if any realized soul is there. He detached from worldly all kinds of <coughs> desires and desires. Desires means? Enjoyment. And totally observed in Hari Krishna, always chanting remember. And he has some realization. And he can. Uh, Remove all kinds of dogs. <coughs> he is like a very good wife there. Medical doctor. Uh, doctor. doctor. His medicine is Abhyartha. Abhyartha? Never be become. So, we should hear Katha from him. This is the medical medicine for worldly persons. Being always happiness. Those who are not hearing all these three five sons of Krishna, they will lose so much. They are like a hunter, hunting himself, killing himself and others also. Those who are taking the place and the axe anyhow. If they are not killing, but taking from the market, they are also killers. Those who are making sheds and all these things for their killing animals and doing all nonsense, they are also hunters. Those who are not hearing, they are more hunters. They are killing themselves and others also. So anyone who wants to enjoy this world, those who are Vishayi, those who are Nibhita Tarsayi, they have no desire to test this world. Those who are bhakta, all should hear Srimad Bhagavatam. This is a um, medicine. That my name is Abhyartha. In So, we should hear. Then he told, I want to know now. You have told so many things. So, I want to ask you, well, there was Sankarshan, and he came in the omb of Rohini, his son. How he became the son of Devaki? 
outdated. He, our party, he never came in the womb of devotee, but he is told as Amju guaranteed. He never came in the womb of devotee. So how outwardly we know that he is the Rohanish Nandan. But why we call? And uh, why Krishna giving of his father and father home at Mathura? He went to Braja. And what activities he done, what pastimes he did there. And again, why he came to Mathura? And Mathura, how many years he was there? And what he did there? And after that, why he went to Dwarka? And he <coughs> married so many, so many, how many wives he married there? And how he was doing there? <coughs> And anything else he had played and done past times, which I request you to explain here. Then Sukadeva Goswami became so happy. And he told to Parikshit Maharaj that Vasudeva Katha Prasna Pursan Strin Punatihi Bhaktaram, Pritchakam, Shrotram, Tadpadasalam, Yatha. <coughs> These pastimes of Krishna are so strong medicine of this body that they pure three things. Those who are asking question for hearing uh, Harikatha pastimes of Krishna, that you are asking. And Bhaktaram, who is answering? who is telling, is speaking the past times of Krishna. And thirdly, who is? Listening. listening. All. So, it, it makes pure to three like Ganges water coming from the feet of Bamandev by Bhagi Raghiti for his brothers are and sisters. No, no. Who are killed the uh, ancestors. Uh, ancestors. Ancestors. Uh, so he was brought by Bhagirathi. So Bhagirathi was pure. And Shankar was purified. He took Ganges on his head. And then it quickly went to Sagar, to ocean, and where all 60,000 of his ancestors were killed there. And it was touched to come in uh, of water of Ganges. At once they went to Baikunt. So this katha is like pastimes like that. If anyone is so weak, he cannot give up their bad habits. habits. They want to taste world. But anyhow they will hear all these pastimes very strongly then there will be purified salt and, and a Christian frame will come very quickly in their heart. Because he has promised in first canto, chap, first canto, those will hear the pastimes of Krishna made by or manifested by Vyas Dev. At once, if he will have so much honor to hear, at once strictly Krishna will come and be controlled in their heart. Then Parikshit Maharaj. Hearing this, Sukadeva Goswami became so happy and began to answer them. He told that, I want to begin from here, that why Krishna descended to this world, the animal body? This question to him. Why Krishna came? Paritranaya Sadhuna Vinasaya Sto Dushkita. Dharma Sansthapanarthaya Sambhuan Krishna has promised to whom? To Arjuna. To son, <laughs> lakhs and lakhs years before, he has promised that in all yuga, every yuga, in Brahma days, there are so many manvantas, 14 manvantas. 
and in one manvantar there are 71 yugas so all in manvantar one time and in all yugas in 71 71 times i comes to this world in brahma one day to establish yuga dharma to protect sadhu devotee and to Demons, control demons, <coughs> and to, or by doing this, establish, establish dharma. What dharma? <coughs> Varnasam dharma. What dharma? Moreover, Sanatam dharma. What is Sanatam dharma? That I am not this body. I am so part and parcel of Supreme God. I am eternal servant. All are eternal servant of Krishna. Now we have forgot. So in Gita he has told, Bansa se jirnani jatha vihaya Namani grhananti naro para Tatha sarirani jinnyani Nyan sanjami nami Nainyang chidanti nainyang Hati pavaka nai chaitya na shoshi adhima like this. That we are part and pass of the sense of God here. And we are eternal servants. Not only human body. Not only one of India. Whole world. Not one world. Lacks and lacks. We cannot count. Everywhere. Creepers, trees, animals, ants, insects, all are part and parcel of the body. We have forgotten anyhow. So for this to establish this truth, transcendental truth, what has been told in Gita? What has been told in Srimad Bhagavatam, uh, 11th and 12th canto? Uddhav Sandesh. In Vedas, uh, Upanishadas, in Gita, Gita Upanishad. So establish this, especially in Brahma one day, in, in one Yuga, there are four Yugas, Satya, Treta, Dvapar and Kali. In all Yugas, there are a special, a special Yuga Dharma. In Satyaju, meditating, not taking anything. Anyone sitting like this, like Balmiki, more than that, 80,000 years sitting like this. <laughs> not taking water, air, Dhu, only six months, in six months, only four months, not took water and air. And he, Valmiki, more than 80 years never took air, no water, nothing. And his body became like soil. Insects took up, took, ate all his body. Also, his haddi, bone was there, very little, little, all had gone. And that life was in that very And after that, Brahma came and he sprinkled water and he became long. So at that time, you, human used to be of lakhs and lakhs years that age. At that time, <coughs> water was pure, air was pure, mind was so pure, they can come in trance. But in Treta they used to do Jagya, fire sacrifices. In Dapar Yuga, they cannot do all, they could not do all these things. Then, then worshipping God by Tantra, Tantra man, by Archan, by doing this, doing this making so much big, big temples. At that time, Jagannath temple was done. Tremendam temple was done. In Patrika, Sharm was done. 
growing things and getting the diverse. In college also, Muslim came, so many will come and they will destroy all these things. So, Kaliyu, what done? Only Hari Nam Hare Krishna, 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 to protect from Kansa, Jarasandha, Dantabakra, Durjodhan, they were all demons. And they were forgetting, and they were always drinking, doing all nonsense that world now is going to do, and they are doing, and they think that, oh, we are very innocent. These are these minds. We will control both, but they were smashed by Krishna. And what this religion of Atma Dharma, Atma Dharma, Varnasam Dharma, I just said. But Krishna never comes, only for this. Yuga Dharma can come, to, come, come and establish these things. Then why Krishna came? Hmm? So, <coughs> Dharma Sanstapan, what that Dharma was? Hmm? Not Varnasam Dharma, not Yuga Dharma, not Manvanta Dharma, not Atma Dharma, because so many had established before that. Ramachandra established all these things. But why Krishna came? Then what he has told to Narada Rishi, and Narada Rishi has told to Vyasa, what? Janama Dasya Jataha. In first canto, first is told. Janma Dasya Jataka. Janma Adi Rasa. From where Adi Ras Manishinga Ras Braja Ras came to establish this very thing. This was only the job of Krishna. Nothing else. Other deed? <coughs> Who killed uh, Kansa? Mahavishnu. Who killed? Uh, Who fought the Mahabharata Yuddha? Mahavishnu. It was his duty. Krishna never lips Vrindavan. Always making their devotees happy. Dwarkadhi is Krishna and Mathura is Krishna. Can be worshipped by devotees. But Brajesh Krishna only serving his devotees. Not by served. Always playing with the Brajavasi uh, males and females. Sometimes bringing the shoes up is order. Sometimes doing this and that. Stalling, stealing butter. Sometimes weeping like this. Mother, don't beat me. I am what? I'm innocent and I'm taking oath that I will never do like this. Uh, you know the relations of Krishna and gopis. No? We think that Krishna is also more superior than gopis. Oh, it is right. But who mm, Krishna called gopis to dance, or gopis came automatically and they dance with Krishna. Understand what my question? Krishna was unhappy. He was lacking something. Gopis never lacking anything. So they were very happy in their houses everywhere, chanting, remembering. But Krishna was feeling some lightness in him. He is Osan of Rush. But Osan was there, Rush was dried. So he wanted to take bath in ocean of rush. And that is why on full moon he played on float. Oh Rade, oh Lalite, Vishakhe, you should come and save me. That is all good. In rush, it seems from outside that gopis are searching Krishna. Where is Krishna? Where? And they became mad. But the deep, if you will go, you will see that not that thing. What that thing? That 
Krishna is feeling so much, feeling so much separation, and he is sitting in Imlitala in Vrindavan. And he became, from black yellow he became, oh, thinking what? Where is Radha? Where is Radha? Where is Radha? Hmm? So always Krishna searching, decorating, following the fruits some of gopis. Hmm? Sometimes giving his arms on the neck of gopis. Oh, save me. Why save me? Krishna wants love and affection. He does not want to hear the <coughs> Ved and his power and stuti of Brahma and all others. <coughs> he wants to hear that any gopi is chastising him. Right. And again and again he will come. Gopis are chastising. That why you have come to still or makkhan. So, Krishna is always serving gopis all. To vinodaya ki? Mad bhakta vinodaya. Karomi devi Krishna comes, descends, the supreme personality of Godhead. Only the reason is that he wants to satisfy, he wants to serve, he wants to make happy all his devotees of Vrajavasi. So this was the main reason. And then after this, again Oh, drama. So quickly. Uh, you should begin. And this Okay. We like to have a drama performed by Mahi Bharta and his family and other members of New Braj community on Sri Pandit. So thank you very much. Without any further, here they are. Thank you. Maharaj, great Vaishnavas, ladies and gentlemen, and all assembled devotees, please welcome to your new Braja's evening today. Um, the title of the play is called The, um, um, the Story of Sri Devas Thakur. <clears throat> For one full year, in the evening twilight, within the privacy of Sri Vas Pandit's courtyard, Lord Chaitanya Mahaprabhu engaged in Hari Kirtan with the most advanced devotees in Navadvi. Becoming madly intoxicated with ecstatic love, the assembled devotees completely forgot themselves and incessantly began to dance and chant wildly, completely surrounding the Pachatapa. <laughs> 